All right, guys. It's been about uh, four or five days, maybe a little longer. Uh, let's see what this vinegar is uh, doing to all that rust. Hopefully it's all gone, right? Well, let's open this thing up, see what we got going on. You can see all the bubbles and foam and stuff here that I talked about. It's like whipped cream, huh? <laughs> so I've had this thing out of here once and brushed on it. And I managed to get all the nuts and bolts loosened out of the steady rest. So that, that was a good thing. Oops. There's the jaws. This one here, though, is, uh, well, we'll see what it looks like today, but boy, it was really, really hard to get it out. There's some jaw. All right, well, this one looks the cleanest, so let's give it a whirl, see what's up. Find a small, bigger brush. All right, well, that part there is looking pretty good. There's really not any more rust on there. There's some paint still on it. But uh, I think we're going to call that one cleaned up. Now this part, you know, like the bridge, I've had that out once or twice and scrubbed on it. But this steady rest, I only did, I think I've only had it out one time. I think I'll clean up these jaws real quick. These parts that I've cleaned... You can already see the flash starting to rust on this one here. I'm going to go take it and put it into my solvent tank and that'll uh, prevent it from corroding any until I can clean it up and get some paint on it. Amazing how fast stuff can rust when it's uh, been stripped like this. Alright, I'll be right back. Better take this too. If you guys like fixing up uh, old machinery, why don't you subscribe to the channel? Okay, we're back. Let's clean up some more stuff. All right, let's rinse these ways off and let's have a look at it. Okay, so it looks like pretty much all the rust is off of this. And I know in the, the last, uh, last installment here, Dave over at the Crafted Channel, Boy, I get my gloves off. He was, I had offhandedly mentioned, you know, I thought I might have to recast this piece. Well, I don't think I'll have to go that far. I may have uh, 
over dramatize things a little bit for the viewer's pleasure. Um, but he, he had mentioned, and there is a little bit of something to this. Let's see if we can, let's see here. You know what? Let me cut this real quick. Okay. Pardon, pardon any shakiness here. So David said, well, you know, pitting and stuff like that. A lot of people will say that, you know, there are extra little oil reservoirs and whatnot in the, in the ways. Well, yeah, if you get a little ding like that. Sorry, I don't know if I'm even focusing on that. Boy, that's a pretty big one right there. Get all this stuff wiped off of here. You get little dings here and there, and, you know, you could stone them back off. You'd be all right. And a little bit of pitting isn't too bad, but some of this right in here, it's very coarse. And, you know, that's going to be kind of maybe more like sandpaper than, than somewhere for oil to rest. Let's see if you can get a better view here. And this side's got quite a good bit of pitting in it. I say that's probably the worst stuff is right in there that I can see so far. Um, but, you know, that can't be very deep. So maybe if we raise up some money and go over to Richard King's class and, you know, learn to do some hand scraping properly. Uh, you know, I've done a little bit before, but not a whole lot. And certainly no professional training, just uh, what I can read. But uh, I think we may be able to scrape that back in. Uh, there's some pretty good damage on the ways, kind of right in this area where it butts up to the gap. And I mean, this may be, it's like somebody ground off like the opposing corner, like they ground it down. Probably something silly so they can get a little bit bigger part in there. And uh, I mean, it's like, three sixteenths of an inch or something like that for over maybe an inch or so kind of right there by the gap, which is of course right where you need to be working most of the time. But, uh, uh, there is a material called tersite, which, uh, they use to build up ways and we may be able to repair the damage with something like that. But overall, this stuff here doesn't look too horrible. Like I said, it could look better, but uh, it ain't gonna look any better than this unless we do something to it. All right. So there's some, uh, I don't know what this is, a bunch of, seems like flaky rust or something. Maybe it's just dirt or something. I don't know what it is, but every time I pull it out, there's a little bit more of it is kind of loosened up. Yeah, is that enough junk for you? There we go. Hey, let's see one little spot of paint there. <laughs> Uh, it seems those, I'm pretty sure these are the bolt holes back then. I'm convincing myself of that anyway. I thought that they were sort of round on one side and then just went flat into the, 
this piece of the casting, but it, there's actually space behind it there. You know, it's just shaped like a washer, essentially. But that junk is built up in there so hard, couldn't get in behind it to see that. So, there's definitely some more to dig out. I think I need to get myself a, a little bit taller container. I can't quite get this whole thing submerged at one time. And that's probably not going to be a good thing when I go flip it over. Because this surface, I clean it up, you know, it gets kind of rusty again. As it's sitting there with the other side soaking well once i flip it over i don't want the ways i should probably clean this side up first and then this could all be cleaned again however some other way because it's going to have to be uh, brought back into tolerances again uh, this is this is a pretty pitted surface uh, it's not going to be good enough for what we need it to do well, i may have to run over to the store and get something which seems like a good time because I think I'm gonna I'm gonna dispose of this water here, and uh, but for the meantime I'll just put this back in there I guess. Well, the process is definitely working. Wouldn't say this is the fastest way to go though. Uh, it's pretty pretty hands off though, as far as that goes. I think we may uh, follow Captain Greenbuyer's advice and uh, try doing some electrolysis on the on the next project. But I'm going to have to go find a find us a, a battery charger, cheap one, not a digital or a smart one. We need a dumb charger. <laughs> Hope that's no reflection on me. But uh, at any rate, probably all these containers that I've got will probably be able to do the same kind of work, uh, just with a different process. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that so far. Uh, if you enjoyed this sort of content, uh, go ahead and Click on the old horizontal mill and you might want to check out some of the other videos popping up down here at the bottom.